all seven and we watch them fall. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Recall. It's available on iOS and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone 13 Pro. Now this is a memory improvement game. You've seen the little colored diamonds that I've had to go over right there. I was about to say squares, but I was like, no, they're on the side. I'm going to call them diamonds. Let's give them the respect that they deserve to be respected with. I, even though I was just talking over the voiceover right now, I'm going to, oh no, okay. It was pink, then it was green, and then it was dark blue. Beautiful. Whew. That is what this game is. It's basically, hey, we've got a list you need to remember. Now, I'm just going to go through this one little bit again, then I want to read you something that is on the official description because it is fascinating as to why this game was made. So we've got light green, we're moving forward, jumping under, we have got another light green, beautiful. The movements are automatic, all the gameplay is is just remembering. We've got dark blue. And then we're going to move forward again. And I believe this should be a light blue. I'm just going if it is what it is on the floor. Yep, light blue. So it was green, green, dark blue, light blue. I really hope that's correct because the choice is green, green, dark blue, light blue. Because the choices that you have to choose from get bigger and smaller. You saw the one before. It was a whole wheel of them. So you can't really bluff your way out of it. You can't really, oh, that was kind of that. No, 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 no. You have to make sure you have got it correct. Light green. We're going under, diving under. Orange, beautiful. The aesthetics of this, I really like it. I really love this art style. I really love the way that it looks. The soundtrack is just very quiet in the background, but it's nice, it's atmospheric, it works well, and it really does have to test you. And I'm really having to concentrate because I wanna make sure to read you some stuff whilst Oof, also focusing on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the menu and I just want to read. Oh, I've gone back into the level. My apologies. Bear with me one second. There we go. I just want to read you this little section here as I show you what it looks like on the actual main menu. Memory improvement game based on the science behind the mystical number seven. Seven is considered to be a special number in many cultures across the planet. Seven days of creation, seven seas, seven sins, seven notes in Indian music, lucky seven and harmony in China, seven islands of Atlantis and most likely to be chosen as a favorite number by people all around the world. Why are we so obsessed with the number for thousands of years? What makes it so special? In 1956, George A. Miller concluded that we are able to hold, on average, seven chunks of information, plus or minus two, in the short-term memory at one given time. Is it really our limit? With this game, you may be able to challenge this theory as well as your own memory. Seven pyramids, you will find 200 memory challenges that will increase each level. Can you really remember seven chunks of information? How about 10? So this idea of only being able to remember seven pieces of information in the short term memory, I mean, it kind of makes sense because if anybody's ever given you a phone number, you're like, okay, yep, 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 no, 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 gone, 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 just email me. So this is testing that. We are pushing it to the limit. And as you saw that I was playing before, yes, I'm really glad that it's just sevens I've been popping up for this because we were talking about seven so much. Everything that was popping up before, it was colors, but now it's numbers because each one of the pyramids, it's a different theme. It's a different thing to remember. Maybe it's shapes, maybe it's numbers, maybe it's colors, who knows what will pop up next. So we've got a seven, we've got a two. Let's get through this. And each time we're in a different pyramid, it's a different art style, which I really like because it doesn't make it so samey. It doesn't make it so, oh, okay, we are just playing one of those little memory games where we're just gonna click on this. It's like a flashcard, da, 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 da. No, no, no. It makes it a lot more interactive. It makes it a lot more immersive because look how great this looks now, this sort of, polygon, neon, futuristic, everything, whoa. Whereas before we were going through watercolors on the landscape, like it was beautiful and now it's all futuristic and techno. Let's see if I can jump out and see if there are any others that I can explore. This is a premium game, so you will have to purchase it to play it, but once you have it, You've got it. There are no in-app ads, no in-app purchases. You've got the full game. Okay, so 
This one's theme is shadows. Look out of the way that the floor disappears when you go across it. Oh, okay, so it's like cutouts that we're picking right now. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Again, a different style to the pyramid. It looks very different. It looks very, uh, we've got dark there. I just really need to focus. I just like, hang on, I really need to focus on this. And we got, okay, two black squares. That's absolutely fine. That's easy enough. And as you will see, once I do this, black square, black square, at the end, they give you a little roundup of the time it took. So you spent, so I spent rather, 1.7 seconds remembering it, looking at the prompts, and it took me 0.233 seconds to recall it. So there we go. Now, look for this on iOS. Not to be confused with another game that's come out recently called Recall. It's the same title, but that game is different. This is R-E-C-A-L-L. -L. The other one is R-E colon C-A-L-L. -L. So it's good to remember that. I think I forgot. Yeah, it was a star. Okay, because I was talking about spelling and then a the star appeared. I was like, hang on. Oh, no, it's all gone Pete Tong. But I seem to be doing fine. We seem to be getting through it. Okay. What's next? A square. And... A square. Two black squares. Great. As we go through, things will change. Things will become more difficult. I was playing it on one of the early levels, and the amount of things you had to recall grew. So then it was like, getting up to four, it was getting up to five, it was getting up to six. And also... It's easier if there's just two in a row of the same thing, but then other ones, it's like, okay, no, it is like five, six, seven different versions of what we need to pick right now. So it can be a little bit tricky. It can start to get more difficult, but that's the joy of it. That's the point of it. We want our memory to be tested. And as we go through, there'll be more to unlock. Once we complete more of them, then we'll be able to unlock more and more of them and keep on going through in order to try and hopefully improve our short-term memory. But yes, hopefully you remember this review and you go and give it a download if this interests you because my friends, this has been a little look at Recall. Let us know down below. What do you think? Will you be giving this a go? Are you a fan of memory improvement games? Because, hey, it's giving your brain a little workout. And it also looks great whilst you're doing it as well. So let me know down below if you'll be giving this a go. But for now, my friends, luck and mort you all. And catch you next time.